Sean Diddy Combs has been arrested. Combs was arrested and taken into federal custody by Homeland Security investigation agents on September 16, on charges of sex trafficking, racketeering, and transportation to engage in prostitution. Combs has faced a string of lawsuits against him recently. In November of last year, his longtime girlfriend, Cassie Ventura filed a lawsuit against him, accusing him of rape, sex trafficking, and physical abuse. However, they reached an undisclosed settlement the day after she filed the suit. Another woman filed a lawsuit against him in November, accusing him and Aaron Hall of sexual assault in 1990. In December, another woman filed a lawsuit against him, alleging that he raped her in 2003, when she was 17 years old. In February, Rodney Jones filed a lawsuit against Combs, accusing him of drugging him and sexual assault, and forcing him to have sex with sex workers. In March, Combs's homes in Los Angeles, New York, and Miami were raided by the Department of Homeland Security, using a Southern District of New York search warrant related to an unspecified ongoing investigation. On April 4, 2024, Combs and his son Christian were named as defendants in a lawsuit where a former employee, Grace Omarque, alleged that Christian sexually assaulted her in December of 2022, while she was employed as a steward on a yacht chartered by Combs. On May 23, 2024, Combs was named as a defendant in a lawsuit by a former New York Fashion Institute of Technology student, April Lampros, accusing Combs of four instances of sexual assault from the mid-1990s to the early 2000s. In June, Derek Lee Cardello-Smith, a Michigan inmate, filed a lawsuit against Combs, claiming that Combs sexually assaulted him, resulting in a $100 million default judgment, after Combs failed to appear for a virtual hearing. On July 3, 2024, Combs was sued by former adult actress Audria English, claiming that he sex trafficked her by coercing her into sex work with guests at his Labor Day white parties. In September, Don Richard filed a lawsuit against Combs for sexual abuse. Thus, it appears the soon-to-be 55-year-old Combs's world is completely disintegrating. With all these lawsuits piling up around him, it is surprising he did not decide to take a permanent vacation someplace. Now it seems he may be enjoying the long-term hospitality of a federal prison.